In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way how to use Storyblock CMS in your web project. To create a new project, we're going to create a new space in Storyblock. Spaces are like projects. And once it's created, we're going to skip this demo step and also delete all the default components. So let's select all delete. We're going to create one component, which we are going to use. Let's call it a page and it's going to act as a content type. Now we're going to put some fields into this page component. Let's say we're going to put the title. To try out the different field types, we're going to put description as well. Description is going to be a text area, not a classical text field. That we can change in the edit field tab. So we're going to just put text area. And to showcase the different field types, we're going to also use an image, which we can set as an asset with the file type of images. So let's save the schema and also put the title and the description fields as required. That means that once you using this page component, you need to put something into the title or description fields. Let's click on content and delete the default demo entry, which we are not going to need. Let's create a new entry called landing page, which is going to use the content type of page, the component that we just created. Let's switch now in the config to form only so we can see the fields. And now we can fill it out with whatever we want. So let's put the title of hello world, some random lorem ipsum paragraph, and also an image from the asset folder. Let's save this. And I want to show you the draft JSON. This JSON includes all of our data from the landing page. That means that we have here our title, our description, and also the image asset file with its file name. If we look up in the URL, we see the name of our page, which is landing page, and all the additional data, like the version, which is draft, the token, and the cache version. Let's copy this URL because we're going to need this in our next step. If we want to go to production as well in our application, we need to publish the data. And these draft or publish data is accessible through the different API keys or tokens, where you can see that we have a preview or a public. Now we are switching to our code where we are using view and width as our build tool. And we're just going to copy the draft JSON endpoint. Let's get rid of the cache version as we don't need this. And we're going to fetch this in our application. Once the data is fetched, we can see that we have access to all the data from the draft JSON or our Storyblock page. Here, just for preview purposes, we're going to put the data in the pretext so we can see that we actually have the same data as we saw in the draft JSON. Once we have this, we're going to need only the story part of this. So let's say story content. And here we have in JSON format what we just filled in in Storyblock. And with that, I have already access to my data in my application. So I will call data.title. I will put in this paragraph data.description. And for the image, I'm going to map the image source to the asset file name that I saw in the data JSON. These components were pre-styled by Tailwind CSS, so they look okay. Here we have it. Now we can delete this JSON preview. And to show you how easy it is to work with Storyblock, let's change the hello world to something else. Save it, publish it. And now as I refresh my application, I already have the new data.